Hi everyone, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie. Um, for today's video, I'm going to be quickly reviewing this Charlotte Tilbury Cryo Recovery Eye Serum. Um, it says eyes appear depuffed and brighter with ice awake and caffeine complex. Um, so this is a 15 milliliter bottle. Here's the box it comes in. Um, I also got this free to review from Influencer. Um, so naturally, uh, if you guys haven't heard of Influencer, it's a way you get like products free. You can review them and share them online. And so that's what I'm doing for today. Um, and then here's what the bottle looks like when it comes out of the box. Let's get this camera to focus on it. So that's what it looks like. This is a newer product from Charlotte Tilbury and it retails for $68. So that's a pretty penny for this tiny little bottle. So I'm just gonna start off what I like about the product. So the product does have one of these, um, this is what the applicator looks like. And so the back is like one of those round balls. So after you apply it under your eye, um, you can just flip it over and use the back of it to help like rub it in um, and get like some circulation moving under your eye. And then you also don't have to like touch your face with your fingers, which I always like um, to avoid if I can, like, let's be honest, like most of the time if I'm in a rush, I just throw it on with my fingers anyways. But I do like that it has this right built in so you don't have to pull out. Let me go get one, because I actually have one. One of these things. So I don't actually know what these are called. I got mine off of Shop Masse. You basically just use this to like rub your eye cream into under your eye. It's like gives it a cooling sensation. Um, it like brings more blood flow to your under eye area, which also helps to reduce puffiness um, and dark circles and stuff. And so what's nice is that it is built in right to the applicator. So you squeeze the product out on one side, rub it in on the other side. Now this product, you only need a tiny, tiny bit. It actually, it's very liquidy, which at first I didn't like, but it rubs in like really, really nice. Um, you need less product with it compared to like other eye creams that are thicker. And so I do like that about it. Also, a lot of times with under eye creams that are thicker, I can like, they kind of leave my under eye area feeling kind of tacky and sticky um, because they're so thick. And this one just absorbs really nicely. And so you don't have like excess product kind of like built up under your eye. Now, all of that being said, I don't think that this eye cream works very well, or at least it didn't work very well for me. I'm gonna, um, I did take like before and after photos, but really I can only tell the difference when I actually compared the before and after photos. Um, have you guys seen that TikTok of the woman using the, um, Peter Thomas Roth eye cream and she puts it on one eye and immediately it like lifts her eye um, and, and you can see it working right before your eyes. Like I did not have any experience like this with this eye cream. I put it on, I looked at my face, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes later and I felt like my under eyes looked the same. There wasn't like some instant magical difference I felt like. And I get pretty dark under eyes, especially when I'm tired. Uh, you can't tell right now because I have lots of makeup on, but um, I do get dark under eyes. It's genetic. My dad and my sisters both get them too. And so I couldn't even really tell a difference until I went ahead and, and compared my after photo to my before photo. So I'm going to put them up here. Here's my before photo. You can see my eyes are a little darker. And then here's my after photo and they are less dark, but... I feel like there's still darkness, but you can still see like a little darkness right under my eye. Um, it kind of like, it definitely shrunk it the lower, I don't know how to describe this. Like my lower eye bags that are more like kind of um, down by my nose, those are definitely shrunk, but the ones that are up kind of by my like lower lashes, you can still see purple right there. So did it help? Yes but not as much as I would have liked. And it definitely wasn't like extremely noticeable until I looked at the before and after photos. Also the Peter Thomas Roth one, I haven't personally tried, um, but I just looked it up on Sephora and it's only $38. Um, and you're getting one ounce versus this one, which is uh, half of an ounce and it's $68. Like I said, I haven't tried the Peter Thomas Roth one personally. I've only, I've just, I've heard good things about it ever since that TikTok. Um, they've been out of stock on Sephora because everyone's been buying it. Um, I definitely really wanna try that one. So kind of like my final review with this one is it's good, 
but it's not great. And I think that there are better eye creams on the market that you can buy for less. This is my first time trying like a skincare product from Charlotte Tilbury. I honestly didn't even know that Charlotte Tilbury made skincare products uh, until I got this from Influencer. But had I not got received this free review, I would not have purchased it. It's just not my favorite. Really, my favorite part of this eye cream are, it's the design. It's the, that it has the little thing on the back of the applicator to rub it in and also since it's not so thick it's like more comfortable and it absorbs easier but also that could be part of the reason why it doesn't work as well because it is like a thinner product and i assume that thicker products are just going to be better at like filling in your under eye area and kind of like um even though sometimes they're more likely to leave like a film or a cast they're gonna like kind of lift better i don't know if that's for sure i'm not like a skincare expert but that's just um, what I'm assuming based on my own experiences with some thicker eye creams like you can just kind of feel them lift things up even though you can also feel all of the film and product under your eyes so yeah that's gonna be it for today's little review of this Charlotte Tilbury eye cream if you've tried it let me know what you think down in the comments below if you have a favorite eye cream I would love to hear about it down in the comments below my personal favorite eye cream is the banana bright eye cream from Ola Hendrickson um, like I said I really really want to try the uh, t Peter Thomas Roth one if I can get my hands on it because it's been sold out everywhere lately but yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.